Hello everyone, this is Michael again, K4EST. And even though the channel is new and I uh, don't have a whole lot of subscribers yet, I'm going to go ahead and do a mailbag. This will be mailbag number one. Talking to some other guys and this, that, and the other, and they know what I do a lot. All the electronics and programming. and They said, hey, why don't you do a mailbag? And I'm like, well, I, I, there's a lot of other guys that do mailbags, and I really love watching theirs. I don't know what it is about it, but so let's do it. Um, so I've got a few items here I've got in the last couple of days here. This one, let's see, what does it say? It says strip board prototype. Okay, I think this pretty sure this is perf board yeah okay this so I can tear it open here and get one out this matches up to a or to most um, like these prototyping boards here where you want to build a circuit up and then you want to transfer it from here and actually make a circuit out of it this matches this don't match this one but it matches all the other ones I got see that don't match up but you've got five holes on each side here on the strips and then down the center even actually this one you know you can use your power rails down the center if you wanted to and you get them up there, but I ordered that just for that. I saw uh, we're actually we're uh, Julian Islet. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. <clears throat> He's got a YouTube channel, and he uh, I think one of his he calls post bags had got some of these, and I was like, oh wow, okay, that's pretty cool. So I ordered some, but. I want to clean that up a little bit. You can take some uh, stuff and rough that up and clean it a little bit there. It's really tarnished. But okay, that's what I'm going to do with those. <coughs> uh, let's see. Now, this one I've already opened, so I know what this one is too. This one is just, I'm working on a old Bearcat scanner, and it has the, just I get in there, um, let's see, I may take it out of the bag here, it's, uh, uses a 3300 microfarad 6.3 volt capacitor for the memory backup and it's only good for two or three days uh, but um, that's fine Let's see if I can get that there it ain't really gonna show on there is it that's uh, that's for those uh, got ten of them because the deal was so good instead of buying just one it's crazy you get on eBay and all these places and look and say, hey, I want to, I need a 3300 microfarad capacitor and don't happen to have one particularly like this in stock. And you'll look and you'll see some people selling one capacitor, five bucks, six bucks. And then there's the guy selling 10 of them for four bucks or maybe even the same price, five bucks. So yeah, that's why I did that. And next, let's see. Okay, this I'm pretty sure I know what this is too. Yeah, this is, and that's what everything is. The whole thing it is a bunch of 10 millimeter Captain tape. It's kind of like uh, you know the black electrical tape, but really, really thin. And it's really good for fixing cell phones or a lot of things. Or I'll mask a lot of stuff off with this. Or I got two circuit boards real close together. Or say you've got an Arduino, and you're going to put some. I've got some of the aftermarket uh, shields to go on them, 
and you'll put the shield on and touch it down and sometimes one thing will almost touch at the end just a little bit I, I should have got one out to show you so sometimes I'll put this down over it to keep that from happening so there's that and then got one other one here and this is from DigiKey I know what this is I got them to send me a oh, hit the camera wow let me take this off camera just a second they really packed that Wow, that was overly packed. Um, especially for something that's already in a package. Okay. This is one of the Nucleo development boards. Um, it has the ARM Cortex. I'm going to get a glare there. M4, it run at 80 megahertz, one megabyte of flash. Uh, which is quite a bit 128 kilobytes of SRAM and then it's got the extensions and here's another one I've got here that's almost like that one it's a little bit different and they look the same because they are on the same type setup but this one here I've been messing around with because I do a lot of work with Arduino boards and uh, pick microcontrollers and things like that and these are starting to get popular with some of the makers and I thought, I'm gonna try these out so I got that one a couple weeks ago and this one is supposedly this one I had couldn't quite get to work with the I got this one to program but I had to download uh, it says it on the back here somewhere the kill K E I O um, IDE um, but this one actually has a little more flash it's got one megabyte of flash 120 kilobytes of RAM um, this one I should be able to program it right in the Arduino IDE if I wanted to and that's what I want to experiment with just to see how hard or easy that was with this one um, the Arduino IDE is lacking in a lot of things, but sometimes it's for simplicity or just to show a tutorial or something. So I'm hoping this will go in like they're talking about. I should be able to program it. So we'll find out. Um, this is the STM32L476 um, and uh, Nucleo64. So, we will find out. And that's going to be the end of this mailbag. Thanks everybody for watching. Please hit the like button. And then again, this is Michael, KE4EST. 73, everybody.